Looking at this nice planting here on a large scale of cannabis plants, we want to consider how we're going to manage weeds in between the row. And that's what this video here on Debaku University will present four methods with their advantages and disadvantages to give you an idea of what might be a best fit for your operation. All right, let's go through and look at between row weed management in a cannabis field. So first off, we have the cultivation or sterile seedbed technique. The advantage is that this physically cuts the weeds and this can reduce weed numbers over the course of a season. And it can be applied on a small scale as well as a large scale. The disadvantages is that this can be challenging in rocky soil because you're trying to disturb that top layer. And it needs to be done on a regular intervals to really be effective. This can often be offset by weather events, particularly rain, uh, to reduce its effectiveness. Then we get to herbicides. So the advantages of herbicides is that they're a very time efficient method. Go through, spray, and kind of walk away. The disadvantages is that there's chemical restrictions for cannabis production, so that can limit potential use of herbicides. And there's also the possibility of spray drift that could damage uh, plants that you don't want to have damaged. Then we get to mowing. The advantage is, is that it helps establish uh, the soil. Here, if we're planting a cover crop, we can mow that down here with a brush hog. Uh, the disadvantage is, is you need to make sure that the species are a good match and not necessarily just weeds, but intended for potential benefits. If we're looking at in between rows, if we plant a nice, established, nice, good grass species, yes, we can mow it, and that might be a really good option. We don't just want to just mow, quote, weeds that we didn't intend on planting, because that could potentially still build up high weeds in our fields. And then lastly, we have a physical barrier. So the advantages of a physical barrier is it's very effective. Uh, it also reduces soil splash and it creates clean walking paths. So that can be great for harvesting. It can be great to keep plants clean from the bottom uh, to the top there to eliminate any potential soil splash, which can also potentially reduce disease. The disadvantages is that there's initial cost uh, with this setup and the setup time uh, in ensuring that the um, physical barrier that you're laying down doesn't get windblown, that only will reduce its effectiveness, but could also potentially damage the plants that you're intending on protecting.